Hello my Pisciles, Super RJ, welcome to another, welcome back to a review, animated review. So look guys, it took me so long, I'm sorry you guys here wait for a new video, but I'm just literally taking a break. Now, this is going to be a, once again, a kind of a late special, holiday special review. And yeah, I hope you guys have a very great happy Valentine's Day. Great Valentine's Day with the chocolate, the caring, the loving for your loved ones. And I hope I get a girlfriend soon. But that's besides the point. Today, excuse me. Today, it's been a while since I'm about to talk about Teen Titans Go. And, nope, I'm not reviewing some 2 season 2 or 3 or 4 this for this review. Today, for this late Valentine's Day special... I'm going to review a season one of episode of Teen Titans, Teen Titans, and that's for way from season one, which I think that sometimes the show gets all right, but now it gets bad. And what episode I'm going to talk about is Be Mine. It's the first, why I say, a first, first Valentine's Day episode of Teen Titans Go. It's kind of a Valentine's Day episode, but it does sort of, in my opinion... It's actually okay. Well, we'll find that out. Let's get started with this episode. The episode starts out with take place after the last episode where Beast Boy, who were t where he was saying they have a crush on this girl named Tara, and she's about to have a showdown with Beast Boy. And but then she banished banished her to the to to the dimension where mansion where the Titans dump their garbage at. And then so so after that it to get gets in the episode. So we see Tara, who's trauma, who's still trapped in the in the garbage garbage dimension, and she vow and she vow one day she would have her revenge on the Teen Titans, especially Beast Boy. Dun dun dun. <clears throat> so later that day, also there's a running gag where where Tara, where Cyborg keeps dumping their leftover meat food at at Tara's face all the time. It's a kind of amusing. Anyway. So the next day, Starfire tells us an announcement. Today is the day of Valentine's, and of course, Robin asks that Starfire will be her will be his Valentine. And guess what? She actually said yes. Huh, go figure. But then we get but her part with her Robin's Valentine's Day is kind of weird. After that, Starfire tells him at the end during that night of Valentine's Day they're gonna have a Valentine's Day dance, S dance. And of course, Beast Boy keep flirt. Hitting on Raven, but Raven still doesn't satisfy. That's fine. Also, she tells Cyborg never tells Space Boy about where Terra is. But of course, Cyborg accidentally spilled the beans on where Terra Terra is. So Beast Boy lies to like Raven about throwing the rope rope to their hammer the garbage hammer space and lets Terra free. Terra free. Space Boy asked asked something about Terra about going to the dance, and then she then she then she said yes. To the Beast Boy about going to the dance because he has a special surprise for him. And let's not forget that, let's not forget that throughout this whole episode, Beast Boy still thinks that Taros has a crush on her. Look, I know it's cliche, but it's just kind of annoying in the, in right here. Now let's get out to the other Titans. So, how they're doing? Well, Rob, Raven, Starfire just keep giving Robin some bizarre stuff about Valentine's. Like she gave him a real life heart, and uh, and she dresses a and used a baby dress as a cupid and all that stuff. Nothing that special. Oh, I almost forgot. Cyborg also gonna invite someone very special, which I'll give it to give who to is until the till in a minute. So anyway, Beast Boy tells everyone everyone that Terror is back, and that's caused Raven to get ticked, and she tries to tell Beast Boy that that she's trying to plan something to kill them. So we cut back to Tara, which is trying, which is at the warehouse, and Beast Boy decided to have her out. Wow, he is just a hero of the year, ladies and gentlemen, hero of the year. So Raven tell, so Beast Boy still keep telling Raven that Raven that she's still, she's still, she's still nice to him. But Raven decided to have enough and decided to tell, and decided to show her, show him a portal, portal that knows that that Tara really does hate Beast Boy. And Beast Boy still thinks he's, that's not true. But tells Terra keeps saying she still hate him, hate him, hate him. It's like she knew that. It's like she knew that Raven's spot. So she decided to 
decided to tell Peace Boy that she hated him, but not like, but she acts like he's no, he's she knows he's he's not there, which caused Peace Boy hard to get broken. And Raven did did say, "I tried to warn you." So Ray, Raven tell tells Beast Boy that there, that she knows someone that actually does feel about him. So we about she'll find just she'll tell him until the to the dance, and so the dance happens, and we find out everybody's having a good time. A time, of course, Cyborg. So I might be wondering who is Cyborg's admirer, none other than Jinx. That's right. The girl who has pink hair and she's in pale for, and she's part of the hive. And we get to the what I say the most best part of the episode where Cyborg is about to ask his admirer Jinx to dance or say something of how much he love how much he loves her. And then Cy Cyborg gets shocked by the guard and said, Step away from the prisoner Prisoner. And just when Raven just when Starfire telling now tell him what everybody who how they tell her around time how they feel Ray's about to tell Beast Boy how she feel about him, but until Terror comes in, and then we get to a fight scene. And the fight scene is decent, something all that new. Then Ter and of course all the time is getting knocked out. And then Terror's getting ready to finally pound Beast Boy. I like to say thank Lord, cause I really do Beast Boy hate Beast Boy a lot in Teen Titans Go. But before she does that. Beast Boy decided to give him, give, sing her a little song about how much she acts, how about of apology and sort of a how I how she, how he used to be care for her. Here and the song is actually not that bad. It's a little bit catchy at best. And then Terra actually, but actually does trust Beast Boy and starting to like him. Kind of like I think Terra actually, Beast Boy and Terra actually were a couple in the original t show, I guess. Like before, guys, I don't watch the original Teen Titans show. Anyway, Raven gets jealous, of course, and decided to have a do side her and Terra to have a duel one last time. And we get a joke, obvious joke where she banishes her to the to the dimension where they to put the garbage away. But but this time, Beast Boy comes in, and and after that, Raven's whispering, saying, "Beast Boy," I, and she whispered, whispered that she's and well. Okay, what I mean to say is that the episode end with Raven sat talk saying that it's all sad because she didn't get to tell Beast Boy how much she feels about him. And that's the end. That's the end of the video. Yeah, Teen Times Go are not really good at making endings for an episode. That's all I have to say. So, in the end, this episode was alright. It's just alright. Like I said in the beginning, guys, I think Teen Titans Go Season 1 was alright. Sure, it has some bad, some good, but this one is decent. There's not that many. Even though the... There, but one problem is, the episode's not that funny. It's not... Like, they're not even trying to make something good, decent jokes. I give it that. But the only thing I like is Cyborg getting electrified by the guard saying so, so, like two times. It was still funny. But throughout the episode, it's just kind of eh. The jokes are eh, the characters are eh, the animation is eh. Just eh. So, this, ep this episode gets 6 out of 10 for deserving a, mush for deserving a mushroom medal. Well, I hope you all enjoy for this Valentine's Day Day special. And I hope you guys get ready for something exclusive going to have for, for the next video. So long, my Pisanos.